Okay, here's the latest on Josh McDaniel, and I really like this idea. The uh, And you heard a little bit about this uh, before when we played the cuts in the last segment. This is Tri-City Sports Now. I'm Marky Bilson. Colin Coward comes up to, uh, in just a few minutes. I McDaniel uh, was given by the Patriots. He'll be more of a right-hand man to Belichick. And it does kind of sound like, you know, heir apparent working more with, say, the salary cap, okay? Here's another thing, though, I like, and I love this, actually, because I went to university high school for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, and that was after going to Shippensburg Area Junior High and Brevard Middle School and Alfred Elementary and Linden Elementary and Bryn Mawr Elementary and Condor Elementary, and for that matter, Lawnfall Montessori School. Two, now you're saying what we moved around a lot. I went to six different schools in different locations, and it was always a different culture and all that. Patriots are going to give McDaniel a long-term deal. Life of a coach is transient. He's got four kids. The contract the Patriots are going to give him basically says, you know what, you're not going to have to pull your kids out of school. I love that. And that is big. I remember Bill Curry telling me that in his coaching career, he coached 30-odd years, moved 35 times. And after a while, it just was like, you know, no, it's no, we're not doing this anymore. You know? uh, it took 30 years. but it, uh. All right, tomorrow, by the way, Chris Lowe will be on the show. He's supposed to be on yesterday, uh, appointment, phone situation. Uh, you know, he will be on. He has been uh reporting from ETSU on their basketball program we'll be talking about that also keeping the theme of ETSU on Friday Donnie Abraham I'm excited about this the former star defensive back who shut down Terrell Owens maybe in his career certainly Owens never beat him he'll be joining me he's now a assistant coach at Illinois working with, among other people, Lovey Smith and Hardy Nickerson. Okay, ETSU has added a couple of other uh, players, and I'll bet you one of these new players, be they defensive back Quinn Smith from Cincinnati or Julian Lane, the DB out of West Green who scored 20 touchdowns, is going to start in the secondary next year. Maybe it'll be MJ Woods from Seal, Alabama, or maybe it'll be Jacob Sailors. Sailors sound like a name uh, that would get, fit in real well around here. Well, maybe he's from Tennessee, Jasper, Tennessee. He was a three-sport star, rushed for more than 4,100 yards at Marion County High School, and had 18 career interceptions. So that sounds like a nice pickup, certainly. From Foley, Alabama, Chris Armstrong signed at 1 o'clock. He was a multi-sport athlete at Foley High School, lettering in football and basketball. Uh, not, not a tremendous amount. He was on something called an all-coastal team of honors or stats surrounding Chris Armstrong, but six foot, 200 pounds, nice size for a potential safety. And boy, five defensive backs in Randy Sanders' class, and they need them. I'll be reporting from that press conference at 5. Colin Coward is next. So long, everyone. WBMB Irwin.